ambil jadi sus. Jalan ya. The next stop is 
Spencer Street. To the right is Southern Cross Station. Step off here for Southern Cross Station. Sky bus and midline bus. Just a short walk to the right. You'll also find Spencer Street precincts home to great shopping, as well as being a relaxing place to have a bite to eat or grab a coffee while you wait for your connecting services. Melbourne Yacht Tables, the campus has the three public restaurants, staffed by students. Bookings are essential. Take a short walk to the right to discover the unique Aboriginal culture of Victoria at the Koori Heritage Trust Cultural Centre. The next stop is William Street. To get to the Melbourne Zoo, catch the number 55 West Coburg Tram from this stop.
Lousy, lousy, lousy. Sambi jambi rogi kukai. Ada pagar. Eh, lan, 
itu di dokter herbarium itu bisa naik enggak lah? Li, lewat mana lah? Tahu. Oh itu bisa, bisa lumayan. Kaktus, kaktus ini. Iman cuacanya enggak mendukung. Ya enggak. masuk nyari otak di sini ada ada shop again Uh, ya bagusan Kings Park. Kings Park banyak landscape. Nah, ini ini terlalu banyak tanaman. Ya. Apa sih potret apa itu? Bisa tuh glass house. kita ke situ di Emerald Ya betul tu. Ini sampai tu. Ini sampai tu. Tapi tu ni tu putarnya. Shit. Ini namanya Black Swan. Karena sing bis kita belum mood, belum melem. Sing, sing itu sudah, sing itu. Mana bicaras barang? Mana?
Lah itu tadi dek mana lan ini? Eh? Ini dek mana ini? Ya itu look out Pakai oh Kabeh itu aku sih mikir St Kilda Road is the most magnificent and famous of all Melbourne's tree-lined boulevards and links the city with the Bayside suburbs. It's just a short road on the number 16 tram from here to one of the city's most popular swimming beaches at St Kilda. While you're there, explore this hip Bayside precinct famous for its shopping, restaurants, cafes and traditional cake shops. The stately bluestone buildings on the left are Victoria Barracks. Constructed between 1856 and 1872, they were the base of the Australian War Guard during World War II. We're now approaching Stop 1, in the heart of Melbourne's key arts precinct. Explore the numerous galleries and performance spaces here, including the National Gallery of Victoria International, or NGV International, the Australian Centre for Contemporary Art, the Victorian College of the Arts, the Concert Hall, the Melbourne Recital Centre, and the Arts Centre. Also, based in this precinct, are the Australian Ballet Centre, the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra, Opera Australia, the Melbourne Theatre Company, the Malthouse Theatre, and the Performing Arts Museum. And stop number one approaching, ladies and gentlemen, the National Gallery of Victoria and the Arts Centre. We're here for about five minutes, ladies and gentlemen, before we commence the last circuit for this particular shuttle. Please be aware that by the time we get back here after... We're now 
heading across the Yarra River to Melbourne's most recognised intersection at Swanston and Flinders Streets. Along the river to your left is the South Bank Precinct, one of the... Across the intersection and on your left is another Melbourne icon, Young and Jackson's Hotel. One of the city's oldest pubs, it's famous for its French nude portrait of... Please be aware, ladies and gentlemen, for those who have just boarded here at stop number two. We do do the complete circuit, but we don't return to number two today. Stop number two. We're now heading to Melbourne's key sporting precinct. To your right and ahead are the soaring lights of the famous Melbourne cricket ground. We'll be there soon at stop three. Make sure you visit Federation Square at the previous stop two. The Melbourne Visitor Centre is here and there's a host of creative attractions as well as... Treasury Gardens and Fitzroy Gardens, which are on your left. These provide a formal landscape setting for the nearby Victorian Parliament. You'll find floral displays, the historic Cook's Cottage, the model Tudor Village and carved fairies tree here, as well as a flower filled can the Olympic Museum, the Sport Australia Hall of Fame, the Australian Cricket Hall of Fame and the Melbourne Cricket Club Museum. Tours take around one hour and depart regularly from gate three on non-event days from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. except Christmas Day and the Friday. Just a short walk from the MCG is Melbourne Park where you'll find the Rod Laver Arena, home of the Australian Open Tennis Grand Slam Championships as well as High Sense Arena used for cycling, tennis and entertainment events. Ask our driver for directions. Opposite Melbourne Park is Olympic Park our key track and athletics stadium. There's also a major new stadium in this precinct for soccer and rugby. It shows where bark was removed by indigenous people for canoes, shields and shelter. If you're keen to explore and discover the indigenous Melbourne of today, or learn more about life on this land in centuries past, the Melbourne Visitor Centre can help with information about where to go and what to see. The Visitor Centre is our one-stop shop for tourist information and bookings, and you'll find it at Federation Square at Stock 2. It's open daily from 9am to 6pm, except on Christmas Day. Another great tourist resource is the Melbourne Visitor Booth in the Burke Street Mall. Drop in here for maps and information from our friendly volunteers. 
The visitor booth is just a few blocks or one tram stop down the hill from our next stop in the heart of the Burke Street Mall. It's open daily except on Good Friday and Christmas Day. in Lonsdale Street to your left. Take a short walk back from stop five, coming up to the old Melbourne jail. Built in the 1840s, this bluestone building is now a museum. There are daily tours available, and for the more daring, night performances to set your hair on end. In 1904, ask our driver for directions. We'll soon reach stop five at the Royal Exhibition Building and Melbourne Museum. Australia's best examples of 19th century classical gardens. There are three historic fountains here, including the nation's largest and most elaborate fountain, which was constructed in 1880. And stop number five approaching, ladies and gentlemen. Hop off here for the Melbourne Museum. Magnificent Royal Exhibition Building was constructed for Australia's first international exhibition in 1880 and the first Parliament of our Federated Nation opened here in 1901. Meticulously restored and World Heritage listed, this stunning building is among the last remaining examples of the 19th century international exhibition movement. Daily tours are available from 2pm, bookings are essential and can be made at Melbourne Museum next door. Melbourne Museum has a host of attractions to it is nearby, with its eclectic mix of restaurants, bars and gift shops. From flamenco and tapas to wholesome vegetarian cafes, Brunswick Street is Melbourne at its most colourful. It's a 15 minute walk back from our next stop. Ask our driver for directions. Except for major exhibitions, it's just a short walk from either of the next. And stop number six, ladies and gentlemen, why go on the street?
A great way to really discover Melbourne is by spending time with a local through the Melbourne Greeter Service. This provides a personal city orientation, mostly in English, but other languages can also be arranged. The Melbourne Greeter Service operates daily at 9.30 a.m. to the city centre. To your right, you'll see the English elm trees planted over a century ago, which line all Melbourne. is a Melbourne institution and attracts millions of visitors each year. Spread over several city blocks, the market is best known for its fresh food, but it's also great for well-priced Australian souvenirs, jackets, clothing and shoes. It's open daily except Monday and Wednesday. Explore the market yourself or take a tour to learn its secrets. Bookings are essential. <laughs> In Melbourne's newest precinct, Docklands, on your right are the Flagstaff Gardens, Melbourne's oldest gardens and among the most popular with city workers. The name Flagstaff comes from the 1840s, when this elevated site had a clear view of ships arriving into the colony's port and was used as a signal station for boats travelling up the Yarra River. Just across the intersection on your left is the heritage-listed Old Royal Mint Building. You'll find the Hellenic Museum here with a large display of ancient Greek pottery dating back to 850 BC. The museum also has a room dedicated to the Byzantine era as well as three rooms documenting the long history of Greek migration to Australia. We're now turning right into La Trobe Street. The next intersection coming up is at King Street you'll find the Koori Heritage Trust Cultural Centre at this end of King Street. It showcases the work of emerging and established Koori. See ahead to your right is the Port 1010 building and part of the Docklands Emerging Digital Harbour Precinct. Commercial companies and government agencies with a focus on research and innovative technology are based here. station. One of just two stations in the city you'll find above ground. The rest are underground and form the city loop. Southern Cross Station is the main rail transit hub for regional and interstate services. To our left is Dockland Stadium, home to many events, including national football. 
It's the only sports stadium in the Southern Hemisphere with a fully retractable roof. We'll stop at the other side at stop 10. Ahead and in the distance, you can see the tall cantilever. Five minutes stop here. Thank you. Five minutes. Good. 